<sighs> boy, oh boy. I don't know. I just had to come to the channel real quick. Uh, before I hit the sack. It's late, but I'm just like, bruh. Yo, like, I know when we go on YouTube, we follow the people that we have interest. We follow the pages that we have interest. But do y'all see? Is everybody seeing what is going on? Like, are we really awakened and woke to what time we are living in right now? Because it's that time. I don't know how long any of you have been following me, but if you look back in my videos, you see where um, the Holy Spirit gave me a message about aliens, right? And and the invasion, the fake invasion. Look at what's happening. You know, a lot of times, like sometimes God gives you things and you be like, am I bugging? Like, is this like for real? Like... When God gave me that message, and I'm going to try and link the video in, in my description. But when God gave me that message about the aliens, it was crazy because I felt it so strong. The Holy Spirit was just like, yo, they're going to fake the rapture or whatever. They're going to do something with the alien invasion. You know what I'm saying? And now, look at everything that's happening. Like, yo, like we are living in a time of pure confusion and just it's crazy out here like yo like i can't even keep up with everything that's happening bro it's like stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready i mean keep your lamps burning the best way you know how I know it's a challenge with trying to take care of your families and trying to work and just trying to maintain. you like, what do I do? Quit my job, uh, sit down, not do anything. You know, it's crazy because I'm so busy. My business is booming right now, but I also feel like I just need to find time to pull away from it because I find myself working so much just to keep up. Me and my husband, we work so much just to keep up. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be able to take care of our children, to be able to pay our bills, like, it's crazy because there's really no balance out here. Like, the economy is, do is done off. And we really have to pick and choose what we pay attention to because it's crazy out here. Like, it's literally crazy out here. I don't even go to the supermarket. Like, I, can't t I cannot tell y'all the last time I really stepped foot into a supermarket, supermarket like that. I think I went to the meat market maybe two months ago. Maybe a month or two months ago. But I Instacart everything. Like, I don't even have the patience to go into the store because we're dealing with a generation that is so careless. Like, I'm tired of going into the supermarket and there's only two cash registers open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, it's, things are just so different for me. Like I'm 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 blessed to be able that God has blessed me to be able to Instacart or order whatever I need to order whenever I need to, but things are just so different. Like I don't even like driving. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. It's like I be having a fight off the spirit of anxiety because it's so much going on in the world. There's so much going on everywhere. It's like you really don't feel that comfortable leaving your house like that. Like it's crazy. I know God is with us and that He's protecting us and everything like that. But it's like, yo, this day and time that we living in is crazy. It's crazy out here. And if you see, like, and hear that everything that they're talking about, it's like, bruh. Meanwhile, everybody's going to get these, this spell. They paying to go to this concert from you know who, the queen, you know who, the queen, B. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be a part of this. And they don't even realize that there's spells being casted. There's rituals being done right before your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. The distraction is real. Shout out to everybody who's trying their best to stay on board and stay focused. And, you know, praying for sharp discernment. Because we faced with a lot right now. 
That's why the Bible says the very elect should be, would be deceived or whatever that scripture is. I have to look for it. But yo, bruh, it's a lot going on. Anyway, I just had to come through and, and, and say like, let me know down in the comments. Like, y'all feeling this? Y'all seeing this? Y'all, it's been raining so much here. It's like the sun be out and it's raining. Like, like, like storms. Like, yo, it's bugged out. Like, the weather is bugged out where I'm at. I'm on the East Coast. But the weather is crazy. Like, yesterday we was out, um, Sunday, yesterday, yes. My husband was cooking on the grill. It was beautiful out. Then all of a sudden these winds came. It was my neighbors was barbecuing. They had the music out. They had a DJ. They was having a bar big barbecue. All of a sudden, first first things first, the, 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 there's no clouds, just pure. Like, it, you didn't even see no clouds really coming like that. Like, they came. Don't get me wrong. I'm, like, the clouds came, but it was still sunny and blue outside. Then all of a sudden, these clouds rushed in, and it was a downpour. Then it stopped. Then it was lightning. Then it was thunder. Then the sun came back out, but it, then it was a downpour. So it was, like, weird. And then it was, like, all this wind. And then on the phone, you get a tornado warning. Where I live, look, which I'm, like, by New York City, Jersey, and all that. Where I live, I'm by Philly. Where, where I live, it's not even the type of place where you would be getting tornadoes like that. So, like, it's. It's wild, crazy, like, what's going on? Like, it's really, like, if you're not paying attention to destruction and everything that's going on in America, like, why do we continue to play in God's face? Like, why? Is, why, why, why continue to play in God's face? Like, bruh. Anyway, I don't even want to, I don't even want to. Listen, God bless you all. I do have a video that I need to post that I need to fix up. It's called The Miseducation of Kiki Palmer. And the reason why I want to post that is because I had did um, a video on her back in the, back a couple of months ago. But I never posted because I found myself trying to edit it. And I get real, like, aggravated when I'm trying to edit stuff. And then, you know, it takes a while. I just be trying to record a video, come on, throw it up, and go about my business. You know what I mean? Because the editing be a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get a word across and keep it moving. I'm just trying to share and keep it moving. But the name of the video, look for it. It's coming soon. It's called The Miseducation of Kiki Palmer. And the reason why I want to bring that is because, you know, we're we going to go back from when she was in Akilah and the B to when she played in the movie Pimp. Then, you know, she got, she was promoting the homosexual agenda. You know, she started from a smart little black girl coming up in the hood, you know, with the spelling bee and all that. Was innocent. Then she went to pimp. She was a pimp, you know what I mean? She was gay. She was promoting that agenda. And then, you know, she turned around and had a baby with her baby daddy, you know. So you thought she was going to that side. And then the next thing you know, now she out here and she living her hot girl life, her hot girl summer life after having her baby. And, you know, promoting this women's liberation stuff and disrespecting her. I don't think he's her husband, but her children's father, you know what I'm saying, who she was posted up taking pictures with and all lovey-dovey. Now she got this baby and things have changed. So please stay tuned for the miseducation of T Kiki Palmer. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all um, for for sticking by. You know, I always pray that God would send to this channel um, like-minded people, you know, iron sharpens iron or whatever like that, you know. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you got to do. But I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all soon.